Hi, this is Pastor Wes coming to you with another vlog on living in uncertain times. You know, to this weekend, um, actually, I'm late, uh, an extra day late here doing this vlog because uh, Memorial Day weekend um, was this last weekend. Memorial Day was on Monday. And it got me to thinking some things. I, I've been kind of looking in, in pictures um, of our family because the, one of the things that have tied, tie, has tied me the most to Memorial Day is, is my father. My father served in World War II. He flew, um, I believe it was 55 missions. It might have been 65. I can't remember. I should have chucked it before I, I went on this. But um, he was a pilot in Europe. And I was just looking at, at some photos, and here's some photos of him. Um, George Johnson, you can see the plane that he uh, flew in. I think there's a, actually a couple of bombs coming out of the plane in that picture. And so kind of a good looking guy. Now you got several different pictures of him. We lost a lot of the pictures of him uh, because he had his, his stuff stolen when he was coming back to the States after World War II, all his medals and those types of things were gone. And here's some more pictures of him in his uniform and Air Force uniform and even one of him and his, um, his younger sister as well. You know, we live in this uncertain time. And that's what the vlog is really about, uh, COVID-19. It has changed the patterns of life for you and I. And yet I'm sobered a little bit and thinking, our, our patterns of life have been upset, but nothing in comparison to what many people have had to live through on this earth. Those who have lived in the most uncertain times have been those who have lived in war, whether it was soldiers going over uh, overseas or some other place. They didn't know whether they would live the next day or not. They didn't know whether they'd be on the victorious side or not. They didn't know if they would be captured or not. All those uncertainties of life. And, and we know that those wars have brought about tremendous pain and, and, and hardships for those that served. But also for those who lived in, in, whose homeland was a part of that war. You know, in the United States, we haven't had that except in the Civil War time, especially, which certainly was both sides were a part of it. And that was extremely felt. That was uncertain times. Today isn't really uncertain in comparison. It gives us a perspective, doesn't it? The, the soldiers, they ran into the fray. They ran into the uncertainty in order to bring about some certainty that would come hopefully later and hopefully with victory. Those who lived there, they didn't have much choice. They they had to go through the uncertainty. They didn't know whether their home would be left, whether their crops, their, their farmlands would be there, whether their store would be totally damaged, and many of them were completely destroyed. Many of them no longer had a life that they were living before. War is terrible. It, it, terrible is not the right word. It is, it is horrendous. It makes, makes everything uncertain. But it also reminds me that Jesus, just like those soldiers, ran into that uncertainty. Jesus came here into the uncertainty of this world and this life. He, Jesus came and ran into a war here, war between evil and good, a war that, that he needed to win in order to rescue you and I. To rescue us, yes, for heaven, but also just for living a life that was the way that we are created to live in a right life. Jesus ran into the uncertainty. Jesus gave his life, died on the cross for us. Jesus went through humiliation for you and I. And we need to go through humiliation at times. We need to go through, at times, uncertainty in our lives for Christ's sake, for the sake of others, whether that's in war or whether that's at peacetime whether it is keeping people safe from COVID-19 or whatever the future might bring. I'm, so, I'm sobered a bit today because life is uncertain. Yet because Jesus came into the uncertainty of this life, I have the certainty 
of resurrected life. I have the certainty of heaven because those soldiers went overseas and the wars that we've had has given us the certainty of peace right now, even in the midst of this uncertain time. So let us keep perspective. Let us honor those who have ran into the fray and let us have a little backbone as we face our own uncertainties. Peace and towels, Pastor West.